Good evening from Puerto Natales in Chile. Today we crossed over from Argentina and arrived just in time for sunset and it is going off. It looks really, really nice with this old pier. So right now I've got the 5D Mark III set up with a 24 to 72.8 and I'm shooting with a six stop variable ND filter to try and get the water just like nice and silky smooth while still popping the colors. So here's one example there. For the next two days, Brendan and I are going to be exploring Torres del Paine National Park and taking you with us. I think it's going to be really good. So let's get started right now. starting to get pretty dark but that was a nice little session down by the old pier what do you think well, I'm freezing where's my toque <laughs> smart this guy sad so, Canadian yeah indeed always keep your toque handy uh, what are we gonna do we're gonna go have dinner and then uh, head out into the park at night so yeah just a few more b-roll shots and then it'll be tomorrow morning for sunrise see you there Good morning from Torres del Paine National Park in the Chilean Patagonia. Today we got up about an hour before sunrise and unfortunately there was really, really strong wind at a location called Salto Grande. We turned around the corner into about 50 kilometers an hour and light rain, which is not ideal for shooting photography. So we jumped in the van and tried to find another location and I'm kind of hiding away from the wind right now because it's still overcast and windy and even still a little bit of light rain. But this is the view that we're looking at to shoot and unfortunately it's still overcast. We're gonna spend the rest of the day exploring Torres del Paine National Park and location scouting for sunset tonight and sunrise tomorrow morning. All right, so our location scouting was definitely a success. We found a really cool waterfall just above the main Salto Grande with a great view of the Cuernos, which are the horns, which are right there. And then about probably 45 minutes from there is another really good spot that we're gonna try and shoot sunset at. And it's got some great leading lines and really good anchor points. So yeah, this location scout, definitely a success. Now we're gonna go chill for a bit more of the day, uh, recharge the batteries, get a bit of work done, and then come back out here to shoot sunset. is windy so I put on my dead cat and I hope it's dampening a little bit of this crazy wind we just finished our work session it is about an hour and a half before sunset so we're gonna start in on our about 45 minute to an hour hike and see if we can find the perfect spot here we go
still pretty windy, but I've got the dead cat on, so I hope that you can hear me okay. Uh, I wanted to touch a little bit on my broken Canon 5D Mark III. In the last video, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a little card right here. But in the last video, I unfortunately uh, broke my 16-35 to 2.8, and I thought at the time that I'd also broken the 5D Mark III. It took a really bad bash in the wind at uh, Cerro Fitzroy, just outside of LGL 10, and uh, yeah, it crashed pretty hard. It turns out that only one of the buttons, I'm looking at it right here, was sort of like smashed in at the point of impact, and I took a knife and kind of pried it out, and uh, yeah, took the battery out, put it back in, and magic, you know, it's working again, so that's great. But I did break the 16 to 35 pretty bad. Luckily, I have camera insurance because all of my gear is very, very expensive and I use it for my job, so I need to have it insured. I sent an email to the camera insurance guy and he said that he will replace the 16 to 35, which is great news. So when I get back to Europe, I'm gonna buy another one and then I'll have my lens back. Good morning from the middle of nowhere, Patagonia, Argentina. Today we left Torres del Paine National Park in Chile because it looked like this everywhere. Overcast and rainy, no sunrise whatsoever, which is kind of sad, but it happens, you know, when you're chasing light, sometimes there's just none to be found. Uh, however, overall the trip was really, really good, I think, in Torres, and I got a couple of nice shots, but we were definitely battling with the weather. Uh, now we are in Argentina, just crossed the border, and we are heading to El Calafate, which is probably about another two hours from here. And in El Calafate, I'm going to say goodbye to Mr. Manson and the Wicked Camper. All right, now I've made it back to El Calafate and the Nakil Yenu Hostel, which is awesome, staying here for one night. Saying goodbye to this man, Mr. Brendan Vanson. He's got a pretty epic drive ahead of him, and uh, tomorrow I'm flying back to Buenos Aires and then back to Europe and back to Nelly. And I hope you're watching this because I'm looking forward to seeing you. But the last three weeks have been great, buddy. Little yeah, man, romance. it's been crazy. We've been spending way too much time way too close to each other <laughs> in this little van right there and let me tell you something about mr greg snell oh danger his feet smell bad <laughs> yeah, when we sleep in the van we sleep crossed like this so it's not awkward so my feet are here and his head there and vice versa and i'm sure my feet smell yeah, yeah. i wasn't going to say anything so on the blog, i'm looking but... forward to sleeping somewhere where i don't smell feet for a little bit but yeah. it's been fun in the van man it's been a good van life if you want to see a lot more of that content be sure to check out brendan's channel i've been linking it in my last few videos and i'll link his channel again in this video uh, and it's been a, a wicked trip so. yeah man it's been awesome all right uh, on that note that is the end of the torres del Paine vlog i hope you've liked it thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one later guys, guys.